Why is not all shielding paint the same? And why is ours so good? Shielding paint comes in all sorts of qualities and performances. The sad thing is that our industry has many businesses in it that are more interested in price point and turnover, we can't mention any brands of course, um, than how a product may actually benefit someone over the longer term. That is why GeoVital is so different. We got into this because we needed help with our patients. Um, and we're not interested in products that are not, ac not actually solutions. Most consumers buy cheap EMF meters um, that measure the air for high frequency radiation. Most of these meters are just go up to 2.7 gigahertz. Most shielding paints um, just focus on the 0 to 2 or 0 to 4 gigahertz range. And so when doing an air measurement, and especially an air measurement with a low quality meter, it shows um, the paint performs okay. But what about the higher frequencies? Directional transmitters, how one tower talks to the next. They use frequencies of 8, 10, 12 gigahertz. And now with air fiber technology, um, which has a reach of 13 kilometers, um, we're getting 24 gigahertz to deal with. GeoVital has always known that it is these higher frequencies that can't be ignored. And as they um, have even more penetrating power, they are also the hardest ones to shield against. In the development of our shielding paint T98, we wanted the best performance also in those higher frequencies. Our testing was done up to 20 gigahertz because the facility at the time couldn't go any higher. And so a lot of different shielding paint formulas were tested until we eventually came up with the right formula to create T98. With T98, we got the results with patients that we were after, both in the lower body measurements um, that we were after, uh, but also the frequency of health recoveries being brought about. 